doing? This is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. If you don't believe me, uh, buy art. What? Hold on. Yeah. But by the way, buy art. Yeah. Um, I'm right here kicking it in the car studio. Everywhere I am is a studio. Anywhere I'm, 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 I'm hanging out. It's always a studio, guys. I just want to be able to bring as as much value as possible to you guys and and every time that I that I do these lives I want to share with you guys things that, that I believe that matter things that matter things that matter in an artist's life uh, one of the things that that has been extremely instrumental in my life is the ability to be able to, to, to just turn on to turn on you know what I mean you guys get me? Like, turn on. Ignite yourself. It It's just, it's so overwhelming to understand. And I mean in a good way. To understand how everything is driven through heart. Everything is driven, is driven through the human intention. How things happen in this world do to, through human intention. I was reading last night. Before I went to sleep, I was, I was, I don't know, it was like 11 p.m. or close to midnight. It wasn't midnight yet, but it was, it was close. And, and I was reading, uh, I like reading at night sometimes, sometimes, because I usually just do the audible now. I do audiobooks, audiobooks. Uh, I was reading about Newton's uh, uh, three uh, laws of mo motion, Newton, Newton's laws of motion. And it just, you know, this was some of the stuff that you read in, in high school or whatever, I don't know, somewhere around there. Some of you before that, it doesn't matter. What matters is, is do you get it, right? Do you get it? I revised it again. I was looking at it and I was like, oh man, this, this is the kind of stuff that just intrigues me. It moves me. It, 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 it nourishes my soul when I start reading about that. And I'm like, oh man, like, like. We really just continue, you know, we continue. Life wants to continue. Once you set something in motion, it stays in motion. And if you set it, if you just set it and don't don't put any motion, like don't don't push it, it will stay there, right? It, it it's going to stay no matter where it's gonna be true to itself or true to that moment. And it just, you know. I was like, wow, man, that's awesome. You know, <laughs> just think about it this way. Think about it this way. I know a lot of artists out there are like, man, I can't, I can't do my artwork. Uh, I'm tired or I haven't been able to show, uh, to show up to the studio. And I'm like, look, I know this is going to sound super crazy and super simplistic, but the reason why you can't show up to the studio is because you don't show up to the studio. <sighs> the reason why you can't paint is because you don't paint. Like if the reason why you can't show up, it's because you don't show up. You're being true to where you're standing. One of my mentors says you will die being right. And that, I didn't get that. I, I got it a little bit, you know, eh, but I didn't really get it until I started really understanding it, like really working it, working my working in my studio, creating my artwork and on and on and on. And I was like, oh man, I get this. I get what this cat was talking about. One of my mentors says, look, you will die being right. Meaning whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're you're right, right? I, who said that? I think it was Henry Ford or one of I don't know, one of those most titans of industry said that. So it's the same whoa, sorry about that guys. It's the same thing with the with the laws of motion. How's it going, Glama? It's the same thing with the laws of motion. If you sit there and you're like, Man, I don't have inspiration, you know why? The only reason you don't have inspiration is because you ain't painting. Not because you're not inspiring yourself. No, it's because you're not painting. It comes through the doing. The only reason the only reason things don't happen is because they don't happen. <laughs> I sound like such a philosopher. <laughs> uh, 
But no, really, guys, on a real note here, look, you will remain true to where you are. And unless you change it, man, I, got, I just got psyched reading about, about Newton's laws of motion. Just got psyched just looking at it and be like, oh, man, I get it. You know, especially when they when they do those little uh, videos on, on, on YouTube, too, because I went and I looked at the little videos. Like for, for people that are not as smart, uh, like me, right? <laughs> I'm like, I need... I need some explanation with some doodles, right? So I can, I'm, I'm audio visual. I need some explanation with some doodles. If I read, I like it, but then for it really to sink in, I'll use audio, I'll use visual, and then I'll use all of my sensory, right? And then it'll sink in. The information will sink in. It will stop being theoretical and it will, be, will become experiential, especially when I start doing it, right? So, so I'll implement everything. And, and so I, I, I was looking at it, I was like, oh man, like, this is so true. When I don't show up to the studio, enough, enough, right? Enough, with enough inertia. If I don't show up to the studio, I have a hard time showing up to the studio. It's like a weird thing, right? I mean, most of us know this, and you guys are probably looking at me like, dude, you're crazy. But look, like, hear me out. The only reason why we are where we are is because of the actions we've taken. That's really all. I mean, first, it has to do with our mindset, right? Whether we're going to take an action or not. But ultimately, it's because of the actions we take. The mindset allows for the action to be bred, right? If, you, if you're like, well, if you have the right mindset, meaning only if, if you at least don't have a negative mindset right mindset doesn't mean intelligent mindset that's not what it means it means it means not having being gullible not having the negative mindset if you don't have a negative mindset and you just uh, uh <laughs> and you just uh you're just not negative if you at least are not negative all kinds of good shit starts happening you know, just all kinds, you know, just, it starts just boiling. It starts cooking. You make soup. You make soup. You make an awesome stew. <laughs> you make an awesome stew of power. You wake up in the morning, right? You don't have to wake up in the morning. You could be right here right now. You could be like, oh man, what can I get started? What can I get started to start getting that inertia, that law of motion set into place, right? Uh, you can clean the car. You can wash the dishes. You can you can write your affirmations. You can I don't know, clean your studio. You can go buy some art materials. But 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 in order to keep it in order to keep it strong, you have to keep it going from one thing to another, from one thing to another, from one thing to another. And this wow. is the power of the human being. The power of the human being. I don't know what philosopher or writer said this. The more you do, the more you can do. That is the power of the human being. It's 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 inertia ignites this this motion, this movement, right? We we know it as inertia. This movement that then sets off this fire, and it catches on different people, and other people start talking about you, and other people start sharing your artwork, and other people start uh, sharing your videos, discussing about you, and on and on and on. And this is the motion. It is not intelligent. It is intelligent in itself, but you don't have to sit there and figure figure. It is not intelligent to begin with. It it is intelligent by itself, meaning it doesn't need your personal intelligence. It doesn't need you. To, you don't need to be a genius. You know, how people are like, "Oh, that person's very intelligent." When I hear when someone says that person's very intelligent, they're high up in life somewhere. They're they're reaching their goals and whatnot. Now I know better. I used to think, "Oh, yeah, oh my God, I wonder what they know." Right now, I look back and and now I, from 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 where I am right now, I can see that no, this person takes action. This person is a constant action taker. Does that make the person intelligent? Certainly, but it is not. It is not any special intelligence. It is not. You don't have to have a four point or 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 a high IQ or you, you don't have to have any of that. All you have to do is set the law of inertia into motion. Just set it in motion. You know, and as you set it in motion, all kinds of stuff starts happening. For example, one of the things when I when I feel a little bit down, 
I already know when I feel like, oh man, I don't know what's happening. I already know what has happened is that I slowed down. Now this could be, this is, this is slowing down in different ways. This is slowing down physically. This is slowing down uh, emotionally. I may be moping about something, uh, something they did to me, something I did to them, you know, some bullshit, right? But it's more than likely that I slow down physically. Now, I don't mean to offend anyone by saying this, slowing down physically, because I know some people have challenges with their health and their body and different things. But just look at Hawkins. Was that, was that his name? Hawkins? The physicist? The genius? Being held back in, in a tremendous way Right? Being held back in a tremendous way, physically, and still being able to... And people are like, well, because he was a genius. Blah, blah, blah. There's many geniuses that just throw the towel and say, I'm not going to do it. No, I've been held back physically. I've been held back. I, I have a huge emotional or physical challenge. And, 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 and then they choose, to, they choose to still go on. You know, They choose to find out a way to still go on. And that, that's the kind of stuff that drives me, man. I'm like, I'm like, you know, I have my, my I have my, my body, I have my health, I'm, I'm still young. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're young or older, none of that matters. It's just applying, turning on, applying that. That's why we see this, 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 this people, uh, this, the stories of people that started doing something in their sixties or seventies, but they did it with full power and that they started reaching their goals and they started the, the, the reason why it's because it's never too late. There's so much time wasted on waiting. Most of our time is wasted in waiting. We're waiting for something good to happen. We're waiting for, for when is the right time? When can I start painting? When can I start doing this? When is the right time to do a video like this? When is the right time? I challenge you to, 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 to think about it, you know, to, to not to think about it, but to ask yourself, when is the right time? If you're an artist and you know you need to be doing videos and you know you need to be selling your work and you know you need to be doing some, some shows, some gallery shows, or maybe opening your own art studio, or I don't know, when is the time? Anytime you see the, 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 the time, right? Anytime you see time, what, what is the common denominator? What is the common thread every time you see time? Sometimes it's 12, sometimes it's 1 o'clock, sometimes it's 4 p.m., sometimes it's, I don't know, 7 a.m. What is the common denominator, well, like the common thread every time you see time? It is always now. Because time doesn't exist only now. But we wait thinking it will be different. It will be some other time. We're waiting. But time is not is an illusion. As we know that. Time is a man-made idea. Right? It's an illusion. The only time there is is now. So when is the best time to start, I don't know, working on your artwork? It was 20 years ago. When is the best time again? It's like the tree, right? It's now. The best time is now. It's like it's right now. It's it's not later. It's like the Nike ad says, just do it. You know, I, I, I know this is not a message for everybody. I know that. I, I, I you know what? I, I've known this since I was a kid. The kind of stuff that I talk about, it's not for everybody. I know that. This is for the crazies. This is for the, for the people that are, that are sick and tired of waiting for their, for their free lunch. And, 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 and they're tired of waiting for someone to say, okay, now you can exhibit. This is for the people that are, that are, ready to make a jump this talk that i'm doing right now it's not for everybody i know it's not it's not for if you're it might be for you if you're just you know uh i don't know thinking hoping maybe one day you'll remember and you'll be like oh i remember what this cat was talking about yeah that makes sense and then maybe you'll be ready later on i don't know but this 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 message i know it's not for everybody i've always known that this message is for people like me, for people that are local like me, you know, people that are, don't want to settle. I don't want to settle. I don't want to settle for, for something less than my greatness. I don't know what that is. 
have, I don't even have an idea what that is. I might go and kick Picasso's ass. I don't know. Do it. Do it, huh? Want yeah. me to do it? Yeah. yeah. Like it if you want him to do it. <laughs> I don't know, you know. Five likes and he does it. Five likes if I do it. Yeah, five likes and he has to do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Did do you look? Do you look like me or do I look like you? Um, you. I look like you. But sometimes. I. You look like me. But sometimes. You look like me. I look like you and you look like me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll leave you with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm the world's greatest living artist. Go get it. When is the time? Six, seven a.m. No, when? Yeah. When? When now. is the time? Now. Now. You heard. Why? You heard it from him. Now. All right, guys. Take care. Bye bye.